Welcome to Cool Seminary Tutorials. Hi, I'm Professor Wendy. I'm also the director of the Center for Evangelical United Brethren Heritage, located at United Theological Seminary in Dayton, Ohio. In today's video, I'm excited to provide a brief history of the Evangelical United Brethren Church. From 1946 until 1968, the Evangelical United Brethren, or EUB Church, was a Christian denomination headquartered in Dayton, Ohio. By 1968, its membership numbered around 800,000. The EUB Church had been formed in 1946 through the merger of two like-minded, historically German-American bodies, the Evangelical Church and the Church of the United Brethren in Christ. These predecessor denominations had their beginnings more than a century earlier. Both of these indigenous, early American denominations had been officially founded in the early 19th century in German-American immigrant communities. They were organized by persons called and committed to spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout the young nation and especially within the German-speaking population. Let's take a brief look at each of them. First, the Church of the United Brethren in Christ, or UBC. The UBC was formed out of a movement that first began to take shape in the British colonies in North America in the 1760s. Around 1767, a German Reformed pastor, Philip William Otterbein, and a Mennonite preacher, Martin Baim, met at an evangelical revival meeting held in a barn near Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Upon hearing Baim preach the gospel, Otterbein exclaimed, Wir sind Bruder! In English, we are brothers. The two began to coordinate their preaching outreach with others to reach the growing German-speaking communities across the colonies of Pennsylvania, Maryland, and Virginia. In 1800, Otterbein and Baim were elected as bishops of a new denomination, the United Brotherhood in Christ Jesus. This newly organized body, in what was by this time a new nation, adopted a book of discipline modeled on that of the Methodists and held its first general conference in 1815. As more German immigrants moved into the Midwestern territories and states, UBC missionaries and ministers followed, and the young denomination continued to grow. In the 1850s, it launched its first foreign mission in Sierra Leone, West Africa. This was followed by missions in China, Japan, Puerto Rico, and the Philippines. Now let's look at the Evangelical Association, later known as the Evangelical Church, which also had its beginnings as a movement among German-American immigrants and their families in the late 18th century. Jacob Albright, once a Methodist lay preacher, participated in a meeting of like-minded German-Americans in 1807 near Kleinfeltersville, Pennsylvania. At this meeting, they began to call themselves a Methodist conference. With Albright's death the following year, his successors in leadership adopted articles of faith modeled after those of the Methodists and a book of discipline. The first official general conference of the new denomination that emerged from this movement took place in 1816 in New Berlin, Pennsylvania. In 1839, the denomination elected John Siebert as its first bishop. The evangelicals developed missions in Germany, Switzerland, France, Japan, China, and Nigeria. In 1934, Formal talks commenced between the Evangelical Church and the UBC, which resulted in their merger in 1946 at a conference held in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, forming the Evangelical United Brethren, or EUB, denomination. With similar polity and doctrine, and the eventual disappearance of a language barrier between them, in 1968, the EUB Church and the Methodist Church merged to form the United Methodist Church. The history and heritage of both former denominations is now woven together into one enormous international organizational body of the Church. 
While the EUB and Methodist churches no longer exist as separate denominations, the EUB heritage of humble piety, commitments to converted life, mission, and unity in Christ Jesus is for all those who seek holiness in the pietist tradition of these honorable Christian forebears.